All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you a simple way of charging devices like an iPhone or MP3 player that uses a USB port to actually receive power. And here, I'm having this lamp here. It's just acting as my sunlight. And here I have a 6-watt solar panel. It's a professional solar panel. I didn't build this one. And uh, I actually attached some alligator clips to it to make it easier to attach it and detach it from anything that I'm testing. And I actually made a video on this if you want to go check that out as well. To the right here, I have a car socket adapter here. And I should show this in another video that I used uh, power another solar panel, which is teaching you how to build a solar panel if you want to check that one out as well. But um, yeah, I just cut off the end that I didn't need and I just kept the socket in that I am going to use and I think I got this from Walmart for about ten dollars it's been a while but I do think I got this from Walmart and to the right of that I have this USB car adapter and specifically for this one uh, I wanted to make sure it could work with the iPhone not all USB uh, adapters will work with an iPhone uh, some kind of way they make their devices but you do want to make sure if you want to charge an iPhone, make sure you get something that actually is uh, compatible with the iPhone. But anyway, as you can see here, this is just a USB uh, port that I can plug the dock station into. And it has an LED light on it, so if I'm receiving power, that light will come on. So that's good to have. And here in the front, it actually has a fuse in it. So that's just going to prevent if something does go wrong or if I'm receiving too much power it's not going to destroy this whole piece here I can just replace the fuse and of course here I just have the iPhone which I'm going to use as a demonstration of course you can uh, plug in other USB devices as well if you want to charge them or power them up and everything like that so again friends just go ahead and get started here it is a simple process and let's just go ahead and do this so basically what I'm going to do as you probably could have Scene is I'm just going to uh, plug this USB car adapter straight into the socket and here while I've stripped my wires here to find the red and the uh, black positive and negative wires I'm just going to take these connections from my solar panel the leads here and hook it up straight to this socket car adapter And as you can see, I am receiving power now. The red LED light is on. And all I have to do now is just plug in this USB piece to it. And it will turn on my iPhone. So just pay attention to the iPhone. So as you can see, uh, it is now charging it. I'll try to zoom in on the iPhone so you can actually see the charging symbol. So you can see that in the top right it is charging my iPhone. So yeah, again you can charge other devices and the most known are MP3 players or other devices that use the USB port. But um, of course looking at this you can only use this during the daytime. And that's not really that convenient if you want to use it in the nighttime. But this is good to have if you're going on a camping trip or something like that and just want to have a spare uh, way of charging a cell phone or something like that but to create something where you can actually take it around which you use it during the day and night I'm actually going to show you uh, some places where you can go about doing that I know I saw some on eBay and I'll show you a few of those as well but if you have any questions regarding this just visit uh, solotechtown.com and visit our forums and just ask uh, any questions that you may have but uh yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and show you some other places that you can go about uh, building a portable version of all of this. Alright, so for this first link here, I actually found this online a couple of months ago, I believe. It's just Instructables.com, and this guy here actually provided a good article on how to build an iPod or iPhone charger. And he goes into great detail about it. Uh, he shows you exactly what you need to order. It's like uh, different kits you might need to buy. And this one does have a battery inside of it, which is what most of you probably want to do. But this here is just for those who wish to do it themselves. Uh, if you're like me and just want to go ahead and buy a professional one that's already made, you don't have to go through all of this. 
uh, you probably want to go to eBay which I'm going to show you in a second here but this does show you step by step so uh, just go again to instructables.com and I would just type in this subject you hear, you see here how to make a solar iPod iPhone charger or just type in this name mighty mini boost here in the search box up here but again uh, this these are fairly cheap uh, a solar charger for the iPhone and that's why again I would just buy a professional one and just skip all this building it from scratch so at eBay all I typed in was solar panel iPod I mean iPhone charger and all these different products came up and you can just browse through them and uh, see which ones you like the design they, I know they come in different colors and things like that but uh, I seen a lot of these here and as you can see it's fairly cheap I probably just get one to try it out I'm, I haven't really uh, researched researched it that much but uh, from the feedback that I seen from the eBay seller uh, it seems like it's a pretty good device it holds up but I'll probably just buy something like this, put it in my car, or put it in my backpack if I'm going on a long trip or something, just to have a, a backup energy source in case my phone dies or I forget my charger. But for this price, $9, $10, free shipping as well, it's uh, very worth it just to try it out. But again, um, just going back here, it, it's a lot of these different devices, comes in all shapes and forms. So again, just scroll down through here, and as you can see, it's price wise, it is fairly cheap. So you can get one of these under twenty dollars. So I recommend trying it. And again, if you have any questions regarding the method that I used in the beginning of the video, again, just feel free to visit Solar Tech Town and visit our forums, and I try to address any questions you may have. So. Again, I'll see you next time. Subscribe, rate, and all that good stuff. And thanks for viewing this video. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to stop the video for a minute. As you can see, I am back here uh, in my apartment here at college. And um, I just wanted to stop the video and just let everybody know that you should get a pack of Mike and Ike's. They are very delicious. And they are helping me get through this editing process as I am editing the video right now as well as MTV. But um, more on a serious note, I'm just joking. Uh, I was, like I said, I'm editing a video right now and I'm thinking, what would the next video be that I'll make? And I know I see a lot of unboxing videos on YouTube, just about anything you can probably think of. And I was thinking, as I was showing you that solar panel iPhone charger on eBay, why not do an unboxing video on that? As I always wanted to do an unboxing video, but just really didn't know what to do it on. But since, since that is fairly cheap, I probably will start with that first. And just let me know if you want me to do it. Now, I'm probably going to do it anyway, whether you want me to or not. But um, just subscribe, uh, comment, let me know, add me as a friend. And just uh, I just want to uh, say again, I really do appreciate those who are subscribing, rating my videos, leaving positive comments. And as that really means a lot, I mean, I can't even really sit here and just tell you how much I really appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, I probably will see you next time with a unboxing video on the solar panel iPhone charger and again continue to let others know about solar tech town as that has really happened as well so again thanks again for viewing the video and i will see you next time